Nick here. So I was asked a question about why is organic so expensive in my frequently asked questions video that I did um, last week and I was like you know what I think we probably should get a little bit more in detail and in depth when it comes to organic versus non-organic um, because I think this is a question that people have and you know what let's 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 talk about it let's really get into organic versus non-organic so what does it mean to be organic organic means it simply means that food has been grown fruits or vegetables have been grown without the aid of pesticides um, to help deter, deter um, insects um, because insects like to eat too and if you're growing fruits and vegetables they are going to be attracted to it because that's what they eat here's something that I always remember now and I remember when I heard it it didn't really make sense to me but now they do now it does that you only want to eat produce that has um, been eaten by insects and that that's also a really good well way to tell whether something is truly organic uh, and the reason why is you want to be eating things that insects would eat too because insects that are eating vegetation it would denote that that is a healthy thing to eat if it's healthy for insects to eat it's probably healthy for animals to eat as well and that is within reason don't go out there and eat poison ivy within reason guys okay the question that i got asked was about why is it so expensive and i kind of went through a little bit about why it's so expensive but i wanted to go a little bit more in depth um and talk about it and also talk a little bit about my experience growing organically or growing organic food versus non-organic food um so I, I said in my video too that I really do feel that people should be required <laughs> to grow food to see what it takes to grow from seed to plate because it gives you a really good perspective and insight in terms of why of the time and the effort that it takes to um to grow a um to grow a cucumber it takes time and effort and care you know from seed you plant the seedling you have to water the seedling daily you have to make sure that the seedling has uh, everything it needs the nutrient it needs in the soil that it's being grown on it needs access to the sun so photosynthesis can occur so it can grow and become a full-on cucumber plant that grows into a vine that takes time that takes a lot of time and attention from a farmer so as someone who is essentially a farmer it takes time from a really tiny seedling to a really bushy cucumber plant that has vines. It takes a lot of time and effort. It takes the resources of watering the plant, um, making sure that insects don't eat your plant and just being very um, nurturing and loving towards your cucumber plant or whatever produce you're growing. Um, so that's one, one reason why organic costs more. Another reason is that it costs more because it's on the vine a lot longer compared to non-organic foods that are grown in a sustainable way, in a way to ensure that um, you're receiving the full on nutrients, the dense nutrients, the phytonutrients that exist in, in what it is that you're eating. 
So the longer it's on the vine, the more time and effort and care and love and water and guarding against insects it takes to ensure that you can actually keep it from being eaten by insects because insects are in the world. We share this world with insects. We cannot get rid of insects and we don't need to get rid of insects. It's part of our ecosystem. But it's, it can be a daily fight to ensure that um, you can get to enjoy the cucumber before any bugs destroy it by eating it. So that's another reason why organic costs more compared to non-organic is, is the time and the effort it takes um, to grow it from seed to plate. The protection, the caring of the planet takes to um, keep it from being consumed by insects. Um, the fact that it has more phytonutrients in it compared to something that has been harvested when it wasn't mature. The maturity level is, is different. So when you compare it on the value scale, this has more value so it should cost more because more went into growing, producing, loving, nurturing, and harvesting it. So that's why organic costs more. That's why organic is so expensive and that's one of the differences that comes with organic versus non-organic. So do you have to eat everything organically? There's a list called the Dirty Dozen and um, it's a list that identifies produce that you re they really strongly suggest that you eat organically because of the high exposure that these fruits and vegetables have um, that has been proven to over time long-term exposure can um, cause some type of shift in our body in some way um, it will affect you over long periods of exposure um, so I actually talked about that on my blog site last week so you definitely can go over there and look at the list, the dirty dozen, they call it the dirty dozen, and, and, and see what's on the list. Um, it's a great way to start there. Start with those 12 things and trying to buy organically. Um, and it, it really does help to shift your perspective in terms of what you're eating, how the, f how the food that we eat every day is grown and um, produced from seed to plate. We come, we become what we feed ourselves. So if we're feeding ourselves pesticides that are toxic, if they can kill an insect, insects are, yes, they're smaller. So if you think about how powerful pesticides are to kill a little tiny insect, little tiny insect over time you're eating this produce that has been treated with pesticides it's long-term exposure you're exposing your body to it it builds up it builds up it builds up it builds up it has far more of a negative impact on your body long term compared to eating certain fruits and vegetables that are on the dirty dozen that I really, I really do feel that um, can affect you in some way. Um, you become what you feed yourself, and there's tons of studies that talk about the negative impact on um, autoimmune disease for in eating these um, non-organic foods that um, we're consuming on a daily basis. So you become what you feed yourself. You really do become what you feed, your, feed yourself. Our body takes in the things that we feed it and it becomes a part of us on a cellular level. And when you become that, it shows 
on your skin your skin is a direct reflection of what's going on internally that's why i focus my practice so much on internal health in treating external skin in um conjunction with um external um treatments and products and ingredients and what have you so that's why there's this talk of organic versus non-organic why organic costs more i hope this helps to kind of explain it a little bit more i know a lot of people have a lot of questions like why should i buy organic what's the difference why is it so expensive why should i spend more money on it what are some ways that i can shift to start shifting towards buying organic so i hope this video has helped answer those questions in some way if not if you have a question just let me know um so what i want you to do is tell me down below comment down below what is your favorite vegetable as a child that you didn't like that you kind of like right now um so thanks for watching and give this video a thumbs up and um don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys soon for another video and i hope you enjoy your day bye thanks for watching